One year. One year. Hey guys, Transformers Fun 5000 here. How has it been one year? One whole year since End of Days premiered. Ah, oh, where does time go to? Someone give me an answer, please. Yesterday was the one year anniversary since Transformers The End of Days Part 1 Division premiered. I don't know. I don't know how it's been a year, but it has. And I don't know if you guys saw my recent announcement, my share. I'll put a, a screen grab on my screen right now. But it's time. It's time. A year later, it's time to start part two. Now, part two is going to be hard. It's going to be hard, it's going to be another challenge, but every single stop motion I make is a challenge. Each one prepares me to take the next stop motion on, and this is just another step. It's just another step, you know. In each stop motion, you get parts. In each part, you get scenes, and in each scene, you get sub-scenes. And then each sub-scene, you get shots. Each photo I take, every video I take, is just a small step. And every stop motion I take is a bigger step. And overall, when I've made End of Days Part 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, when I've made Transformers Season 5, 6, 7, and so on, when I've made all my expanded universes, each, each one of these steps are going to add up. And I'm going to look behind me when I've taken every single step. And I'm going to see the miles that I've walked. That I've just gone through in the dirt. That I've conquered. And I can say that this was everything I'd hoped it would be. This is exactly what I dreamed of. This is my dream as a reality. And you can make your dreams happen too. This is the start of part two. We're going to start it. And I could not have done part one. I could not have done any of, <laughs> any of my videos. And I could not do part two. I cannot do it without my fellow voice actors. So if you are a voice actor watching this video, one of my voice actors or actresses. I just want you to know that in every project you've been in or every project you will be in, <laughs> I'm so grateful. I'm very, very grateful. Especially that it's a voluntary project. You know, I, I don't pay my voice actors because I can't afford it. Um, and, you know, if I pay one voice actor, it's not fair that I don't pay the other voice actors. But I also try and, you know, we're really good friends. And I try to help them with their projects, you know, voice acting them. Um, and it's, it's an amazing because it's not just, it's not just creator and voice actor. It's a much closer bond. Voice actors that I speak to, we've become the best of friends. Growing up, I was bullied a lot. And I know, I'm not going to mention names, but I know quite a few of my voice actors were bullied a lot. A lot for liking Transformers, but mostly bullied for being themselves. We live in a world where we can't be ourselves. And I've experienced this also. And I'm sure the person watching this video right now, you, I'm sure you have experienced this. But there's only so long that you can fake being someone else to stop being bullied. So what's my message here? 
be yourself. If you want to do something, do it. It doesn't matter who, who wants to try and hold you back. If someone wants to hold you back, let them. Because I guarantee the momentum that you are going to gain from living the life that you want, they won't be able to hold on for long. They'll grab hold of you, trying to pull you back with the chains. But you'll just keep pulling and pulling. You'll be stronger than them. You'll keep going. You'll keep pressing on. And eventually, they'll lose their grip on the chain. And you'll be free. Just always pursue your dreams. Always pursue your dreams. This is a dream for me. And... There's going to be times where I'm I, I'm in need of help. There's going to be times where I feel like giving up. There's going to be a time when I watch back this video and think, I'm so motivated, why why can't I find the motivation to make End of Days Part 2? This video is also a reminder to myself to never give up on this project. If I have dark days, just, you know, allow the dark days. I will come through it, you will come through it, we're all gonna come through it. We always have chances to improve. And the thing that I learned in part one of End of Days, that I'm going to learn from for part two, I'm gonna better myself. I am not the same person that I was a year ago. These last 12 months, these the last two years, but mainly this last this last year, has been the most transformative, the biggest, and I think the most important year of my life. I'm very happy with how things are right now. And I just want to say that every single person who's ever watched my video, every single subscriber, everyone who's liked my videos, whether you dislike them, you know, that's fair enough, but just everyone who's interacted with me, you've all helped me. I am trying to become a better person and this project's helping me do this. And most importantly, everyone who watches my videos and supports me, or voice acts in my videos, anyone who contributes, and even if you just watch the video and never comment, I am very grateful for all of your support. This is the next chapter of my YouTube channel, End of Days Part 2. You're going to see things that I should have done with Part 1. I did a lot of behind the scenes with End of Days Part 1. I did a lot, but I never, I never, to my knowledge, maybe one or two, but I never showed any behind the scenes. And that was because with End of Days Part 1, I was so heavily into editing um, that I didn't have time to make behind the scenes. I'd film them, you know, I'd record them, I'd show what I'm doing, but I never had the time or the computer power to start another video project and show more behind the scenes. I still have the videos, you know, I can dig them out and, and show you guys what it was, you know, behind the scenes. It was just me showing you some of the, the green screen and, you know, the sets. But that was one thing that I suffered from with End of Days Part 1 was just I took a lot of it on and I never finished it. With End of Days Part 2, I will definitely be showing you more behind the scenes. I have more Studio Select videos coming and I've got some new series of, you know, if you saw my previous video, the best Transformers book you never read, I've got more like lore videos coming. Um, and just general, you know, general bits of videos. 
what does this mean for expanded universes? I'm still going to make them. Um, more likely I will make End of Days Part 2 and a lot of the shorter expanded universes. Um, there's a couple of expanded universes that aren't ready yet. So there's some big stories, some big, big expanded universe stories. And they're not ready yet. Um, I want to take my time and get the story right. But for the expanded universes that are ready, that have been scripted, that's got the, you know, the voice actors' uh, lines already, whether it's the case I have to animate it or film it, they will still be coming because with End of Days Part 1, one thing I suffered from, and I mentioned this before, is I could easily edit for more than 12 hours a day. So Monday... Uh, to Friday, maybe Saturday, Sunday as well, uh, providing I wasn't working or doing anything else, I could easily get up 9, 9 a.m., start editing at 10 a.m., and sometimes I could even go to midnight editing, and you didn't, that, that's not, um, that's not including the export, so sometimes I would export about 11 a.m. Uh, 11 p.m. and it could take two hours to export so that means I would have to stay up till 1 a.m. and then if something wasn't right I would keep editing till maybe half 1 2 a.m. and then I would have to export again which again could take an hour or so and that was me for over a year I had a very very bad relationship with the production um, not like motivation wise, uh, not like that I had any problem with it, but the, the way I the way I carried out production with End of Days Part 1 wasn't healthy for me, um, in the slightest. <clears throat> with End of Days Part 2, and expanding universes, studio selects, and other videos, you know, the lore videos, everything else, I feel I'm in a position, a much healthier position, to manage that stress and manage the um, the overall quality of the channel. So, I feel that is everything that I need to say. Other than I just want to say this the last 12 months and the, just you know, all my time of the channel, but especially this last 12 months, every single person watching this video, I just want to thank you because we all have hard times, and I mentioned, you know, towards the start of this video, everyone has struggles, everyone has the bullies who try and knock you for being who you are, and I just want to say, be who you are, because I know right now there's probably people watching this video with probably not the best intentions in mind. My YouTube channel was a secret. For years until I was about 17 so I think about six years I kept it hidden I didn't tell my best friends about this because I was embarrassed and my YouTube channel got discovered and I remember I was sat downstairs just below where I am right now and I remember thinking I have two choices two choices I can either delete all my all my content, all my videos, or I can just go for it. I can just go for it. Let let people watch my videos, and a lot of the people who discovered my channel in college were very supportive. And I, if you're if you're still watching my channel, who I went to college with, thank you so much for being there and being supportive and if anyone who is watching this who doesn't have the best intentions in mind for me who is more of a negative person I just want to say the person who I am I'm never gonna hold back and if you're watching this and you're feeling motivated right now and if you're really wanting to start something but you're worried what others will think I just want to say don't hold back go for it because the haters 
Even if they try and hold you back, they will let go when you gain momentum. Because they're scared. Where are they going to land when they fall? When they lose their grip? Keep going. Keep pressing on. And I've got three words for you. Lights. Camera. Action.